Hi, this is James Gardner, this is New Tech Geek, and I'm at the Barco stand for some igniting, some exciting new developments in the escape system from Barco. And I'm with Todd Huddock, who's the, the business or well, the business side of the uh, equation of, of this system. Right. And we're going to quickly discuss um, some of the really great new announcements that are coming out. Um, and, and specifically, you've got some more traction with some studios and some, ex some exciting new content coming on the line. So just quickly go over that and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll hopefully discuss some of the, some of the business side of the, the, how you may want to look at this and what sort of places you want to would install it and the sort of where it works best in the cinema environment. So Todd, just, just quickly give us the good news about this game. Wonderful. So I think everybody knows that we started with 20th Century Fox on the first two Maze Runners. I would say the biggest announcement for us on the content side is really the support from J.J. Abrams, yes. the team at Bad Robot and uh, Paramount. So July 22nd, Star Trek Beyond will release in Barco Escape. So there will be a minimum of 20 minutes, uh, possibly more. We'll see what Ben Rosenblatt and J.J. and Justin Lin do with it. But we're excited having Star Trek. Um, Scott Waugh, he did uh, Need for Speed, uh, Act of Valor. Scott Waugh is doing actually the first movie conceived for Barco Escape from the very beginning. Scott is a big fan of the format. He's excited about this new canvas. And so later that, so this year... So it's 100% Escape? All it way. is 100%. And again, I don't know that that's right or wrong. That's yeah. up to the directors, right? So JJ and Justin Lin will decide where they want. But Scott's already made his decision. He's going to do 100% of the movie Six Below uh, in the Barco Escape format. So we're excited about that. That'll be later this year. Uh, I believe it's a November release. Now, it's a very interesting, um, I find it very interesting this year because one of the topics of this year is how the the stats for cinema have been, keep going up. Over the many years there's been doom and gloom, you know, piracy and everything like that. But what has actually happened and it's sort of surfaced at this show this year is that cinema's not going about going to the movies, it's about going to an experience. And that's a very interesting new sort of um, development and way to look at cinema because um, escape is a new experience that cinemas can have. So we're talking about a completely new, if you want to, you know, have something the others don't have and have a, a totally unique and new experience, Barco is that. And now Barco has some, like Bad Robots, have some of the tier one um, studios looking at using this experience. And you can see how the industry is evolving to an experienced-based um, industry, in my opinion. So I think it's very exciting for Escape because uh, Barco tends to have, you've bet, sort of on the right right thing here because um, Escape is a unique experience that no one, you know, that's very unique and it's one of the advanta advantages that the digital transition has brought to us. And I just wanted to put that out there as something that's... Um, no good on Barco for that. Looking ahead, that's one of the reasons I follow Barco because they tend to be very forward-looking, and that's you know I'm a I'm a, a tech geek, and forward-looking is very geeky to me. Um, <laughs> so uh, just on that, um, so you're the business side. So just quickly go over uh, who sh who should people who are interested come and talk to? Um, is there any things that they should keep in mind before they come and talk to you, or any other aspects like that? Can we share? It's really about understanding, and it's sacrilege, right? Coming from a technology company and being a tech geek myself, I started my career at the Walt Disney Company, and technology for the sake of technology is not sufficient. No. Technology, when it contributes to the story, when you deliver something that is so compelling that people need to leave the couch, get out of their home, and go to the cinema, then you've done something special. Yeah. That's what Barco Escape is all about. Creating experiences people can't get anywhere else and respecting and enhancing the storytelling. That's what Barco Escape is about. If you're trying to create a differentiated experience for your audience and, and, and that's what you're about as an exhibitor and giving people a destination, I want to get dressed up, I want to go out, I want to see and be seen, and I want to have a community experience with other people. And I love VR. People look at Barco Escape and they talk about, well, this a, is bricks and mortar VR. It's the closest to VR there is, is in cinema. 
But the difference is in cinema, it's not an individual experience. No. We're laughing and crying together. That's what I love about Barco Escape. Create an experience so compelling that they need to get off the couch, go to their local cinema. That's what it's about. Well, thank you very much, Todd. It's a good message today from, from you and Escape. So thank you. Oh, thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. And that's James Gardner at CinemaCon at the Barco booth for 2016. Bye for now.